lots of many, many, many women have lumps in their breasts. It's a very common thing. And at my age, I'm 36 years old, I thought nothing of it. Well, you know, I'll wait till I come back from my trip and then I'll make an appointment. I, um, I didn't want to get overly excited and I wasn't until I had that dream. I had a dream that I had breast cancer. I called my primary care physician right away and she got me in that day. The radiologist was fantastic and said to me, um, Jessica, you know, on a scale one out of five, I would be at a four. I am concerned and you should be too. That was my son's last day of school. And I remember sitting in the parking lot, sobbing on the phone to my husband and saying, what does this mean for us? Um, then I had to go home and pick up my son and be really joyful for him on his last day of school. And I remember pulling on my happy mom, excited face, walking over to the school. And uh, I remember thinking, my God, what if this is the last day of school that I'll ever pick him up in this, in this health? You know, you find yourself just in this surreal place where this can't really be happening to me. It was a mistake. And I'm Asian, for God's sakes. Asian women don't usually get breast cancer. I'm sorry, Jessica, it is breast cancer. Your body has failed you. Loss of control, loss of direction, a loss of sense of self. It's going to be okay. It's going to be okay. Along the way, everyone had, one had recommended Life with Cancer. Um, and then you make the appointment. You think to yourself, it's just another appointment, another 20 minute drive. I hope this is worth my time. And you get here. It's the first time that you actually feel safe. I love the house. What a happy place to be. I have a a trusted counselor here and she is the one who helped me find good perspective. Like I stopped thinking that this is going to be my last Christmas, you know, this is going to be my last first day of school, this is going to be, my, you know. So you stop having those scary thoughts because, I don't know, Life of Cancer just helped me find that hope that it's just going to be my last chemo session or, you know, it's just hopefully my only Christmas being bald. You know, it's little things like that. So your hopes change after you've been diagnosed with cancer. You never, you know, you no longer daydream about the great things that you want out of life because you realize how great every day really is and you just want to be around to live every day. Ten years ago, we dreamed of building a home, a house, in support of all families in our community dealing with cancer. Thanks to the generous support of our community, this is a house full of hope. This is the house that the community built. We can fill these walls with endless possibilities. Endless possibilities. Endless possibilities. Endless possibilities because we're in a place that no one else has ever built before. Endless possibilities because of your generous gifts. Inside these walls, we can learn to love, to laugh, to cry, to share, to heal, to heal, to heal, to heal and, and to hope. To hope.